Hey guys, in today's video we're going to talk about using ECU Flash and Evo Scan to tune your Evo 8, 9, or 10. The software that I'm going to be using is available from tactrix.org, T A C T R I X.org, and evoscan.com. Version I'm using is version 144. I have a bunch of custom features, so we'll get to that in a minute. But basically, it's a, a very simple process. So if I was email tuning your car, you're going to receive a map from me via email. You'll have already downloaded the software, but you go open the software. It takes a second to load here, but once we have that, we can see that there's a couple of features here. It loaded. It knows that it has a Mitsubishi cable attached. It has some icons here at the top, select vehicle type, read from ECU, flash memory, options. So if I, for instance, asked you to download the map off your car, you would select vehicle type. You'd come in, you'd find Evo 7 and 8. Let's see, down here we have Evo 9 right there. Or if you have an Evo 10, you'd select that. Then press read from ECU. You'd have the map, you save it, send it to me, easy. In this case, we're going to kind of cover how an email tune works by opening a, a map for my friend Chris. And what you will get after purchasing the map from us on our website at EnglishRacing.net under eTuning Services is a, a base map that will help get the car started, hopefully idle long enough to get some logs and start the process of cold start, warm start, driving the car, and then eventually wide open throttle. So if we go back up to the options, we see that now the menu has grown a little bit. We have read from ECU. Now we also have write currently loaded ROM image to ECU. This is how you actually flash the car. So if I was connected and I was in an Evo 8 or 9 or 10 for that matter, turn the key on, press this button. It's going to ask, are you sure? You click yes. It starts its process. In this case, it errored out because I'm sitting at my desk and nothing's connected. But that really, truly is how easy using ECU Flash is. So now let's go to the data logging software. And in this case, we're going to use what I use for an Evo 8.9. This is an older version. I use version 2.6. But it kind of shows what we have. Some of the parameters that I'm going to have and that I always include in a, a JPEG to show the list items is throttle position, vehicle speed, the engine RPM the load percentage that it uses, which is a calculation based off boost, fuel trims, timing advance, knock, things like this. Getting it set up is very simple. Under logging, you have log data to file. That's gonna save, you get to, you get to set up where you want it to save, so that part's easy. If you're metric, easy. You just hit metric, imperial units, we're good. That's basically it. Then at the end of it, you have this open CSV log file folder. This is the location where it's, it's saving data logs that you're going to send me so that I can send you a revised map. This is from something that was on the dyno, apparently December 18th. But it gives you an idea how, how this all works. And here this video is four minutes long or so. And while a lot of tuners, which I'm going to say is spelled T-O-O-N-E-R-S, want to make it seem complicated. For the most part, this process is really simple. There's not a whole lot of mumbo jumbo to it as far as getting the email tune part done. Now, some of the more advanced features like having the wire, wideband wired into the ECU and then data logging, I'm not gonna cover. There are other YouTube videos for that. Uh, and frankly, I don't really know the process because I tune on a dyno, so I've never really had to sit there and look at it. But my recommendation is search. Google is a good way to learn. You'll find it online. You'll find the video. And they can guide you how to wire it. Get the scaling set up for your particular wideband sensor, which is very, very important. And then we can include that in the logs. Anyway, guys, thank you for your time. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thanks for choosing English Racing. Bye.